As working families are expected to slowly return to work, child care could become a problem. As many centers struggle with the ability to reopen, the industry is being put in the spotlight in hopes of getting financial help. Mike McDaniel explains what's at stake and what advocates say the cost will be. At Children's Chalet in St. Tammany Parish, owner Tracy DeLatt is trying to decide when she'll be able to welcome kids back inside the preschool. It's like you're missing a part of yourself. You're missing a part of your family. They are our family. Like most early care and education centers, Children's Chalet closed in mid-March. As the state now reopens, without financial help, the concern is whether child care centers will be able to open their doors for working families. It's very stressful and difficult, and I know everybody probably feels the same way with any kind of business. When DeLatt does reopen, the revenue won't be as much as it was before. With things like sanitation requirements and enrollment restrictions, the cost of child care will increase for both providers and parents. To get a handle on it, the nonprofit Louisiana Policy Institute for Children laid out what that looks like financially. Based off surveys from child care providers, $46 million in federal money is needed to pay for those added expenses. Another $25 million in state money is needed for child care assistance. We're keeping early child care at the forefront of our minds due to the key role in getting our region back to work. Greater New Orleans, Inc., led by Michael Hecht, even put out a report highlighting early care and education centers as a key part in reopening the economy. It's not something to do later. We need it now for the good of our children, but also for the good of our employees and workers. As child care centers struggle, Camille Conaway with the Louisiana Association of Business and Industry says the need for investment is a priority. Even before COVID-19, early care and education providers operated on precariously thin profit margins, leaving them especially vulnerable in economic downturns. In this downturn, DeLatte says her passion for kids is what keeps her going. To me, that's the best part of our job. That's what, it's better than the pay of any job because you get this love, this unconditional love from these kids. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.